I think today is the day. Today is April 12th, and it's a Wednesday, and right now it's currently 3.20. Um, I think today is the day. Let's just take a ride along the bay. It's been seven years being here in Sydney, and I still have not done a lot of things. And I think that's pretty cool because Ije Waso, I think, and I thought I've done everything and there's nothing to do in Sydney, but apparently there are still a few things that I still haven't done. And one of them is going to the hair salon. My hair is super, super long. When I was in high school, I went to the hair salon once on Christmas Eve with my high school friends to get our hair done. And that was actually the first time that I went to a hair salon. Ever since then, it was always like, 아는 사람 집에 가거나, 아는 사람 샵에 가서 하거나. So I think I'm gonna go to the hair salon, get my hair cut, and finally, finally, finally. Well, yesterday I had my first day of internship, and so, because like I'm an intern and it's their first time getting an intern, which is very luckily good for me because they have they have no one to compare it to. At the same time, I feel like they're giving me a very small job, which is asipziman. Kredo don kidamsirabji anke. Seishi bangkaje jongdo ittaga suobeul jeul geul 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 Today I had my first day of internship at the Sydney Writers' Festival. So it's the story of Gadigal, the Gadigal people. The Gadigal people were custodians for two months. To go through the whole day of how the production will work out for three days, but installation for seven days. And so, and then went to the state library and it was actually my first time going to that library as well. I've always seen it, I've always walked by it, but I've never actually gone inside of it. And so I was I went, I was sitting outside and had a group meeting or group assessment. And then soon after, I went home because I had another group meeting at night and so I came home after an hour and a half, had dinner and then I had another different group meeting for my assignment and pretty much I think I've done everything for a group task, not gonna lie. It was about using SQL and Oracle and honestly that's one of the best things that I love about data base and data analytics so far and so take it I think it's normalized. Yeah. normalized. Yeah. But you're supposed to normalize it, so it's nothing wrong. Yeah. It's either normalizing or denormalizing. So I think it's normalizing, yeah. I thought why not just take advantage over it and so coding and I think I, I didn't really mean to be the project leader but somehow I ended up being the captain and I think everyone kind of does rely on me on that sense so I'm really grateful for that. And so and then before going to bed, I didn't want to scroll down my Instagram and so I was just reading, reading the tipping point and I'm proud of myself like I, f I think I first got this book during COVID like two years ago Grace recommended me this book and so I bought this like two to three years ago and when I first read it, it was actually quite difficult so I couldn't really understand it but now after years of Yep. After years of studying those difficult languages and words, I think I've now understood a little bit. And so, even in the bus, and then I read a bit. And so I'm halfway there. I finished this book this morning. And I don't know, it's, I think it's been about two months since coming back from Europe. And I have finished three books so far. I think four books. Yep, I finished four books so far and so super proud of myself for that. What else has been happening? I don't know where to Kijun Jabba to be honest. Everything, it kind of feels like everything's been stopped from Europe. Or maybe just 
in Europe. I don't know, but 갔다 오고 나서 사실 그냥 계속 머물러 있는 거. More like study blues, travel blues, don't know what to do blues, <laughs> and so. And it's halfway through April already, and that is very somtike. I feel like day by day, it it really goes by so quickly. And the more I am busy or caught up in doing some things, the more faster it does get by. And I can't believe I'm already 27. Next year I'm gonna be 28, and then soon it's gonna be 30. And it's like, wow. I don't want to just live my life and just roll as I go, but I really want to have meaning and purpose in everything that I do and every day that I live. But I feel like I don't have enough time to address what that might be, nor do I have the right time to be or, or, or I don't know, I just, it just feels rushed. And at times I feel like I'm just neglecting it. I don't know, but right now is assessments and Assessments, 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 Gigan, and so Hujume Excel Aguisoyo. So Excel and SQL is my my jam these days. Regression models and a lot of things to compare data, you know. And so Chigan, you know, okay, to bunch of focus or so we go. I mean, that's, that's the life of a uni student, right? 생각이 많고, 생각이 많을 수밖에 없고, 계속해서 공부를 할 수밖에 없는 거. 아, 사실 지금 머리 자르려고 가려 했는데, 아빠가 차를 가지고 나가가지고, 잠깐, pause 해야 될것 같아. Yeah, staying away from the camera, I think, has made me be very reflective. And it also has put me in a spot where I'm very quiet, uh, sometimes very lazy or either very unmotivated. And so I've just been taking time off for myself so that I can just focus on the things that I can prioritize rather than being caught up with the things that has been paramukjabwaying me. I know like doing YouTube or like doing podcasts or taking videos or capturing these things, it's not something that breaks me down but at times it does slow me down it's good in terms of creativity and feeding my soul but in terms of the long run and in terms of me as my priorities it hasn't been the greatest because i don't know like it, it's been very mentally hard for me to balance all and just i don't know i just don't want to think about it but if i continue to live like this then i'm gonna feel sorry for myself for not even trying it doesn't have to be perfect please but when you look back wouldn't you want to have some form of captured visualization or captured media or captured something so that i can see for myself of how much i've came i'm doing a very great and amazing thing right now like i did not know how to code i did not know anything about math and i don't know anything about analytics nor corporate side of the world but here i am like knowing how to use excel and actually accelerating in all of my courses being higher than average I'm not just wishing for a pass, but I'm actually like aiming for high distinction. And I think when I put my mind to it, like I'm pretty amazed by how well I can perform and how good I can get the results. And so when I see that, it's like, wow, peace. Like when you put your will, when you put your mind into it, there's nothing that I cannot do because I'm amazing. <laughs> so because like, I feel like, yes, God is with me and God really does give me the talents, the the ability to do so much. And so I think rather than keeping these all to myself as well, and rather than having a hard time, and rather than like stock what I can do good, you know? And at times when I do need to drift myself away from studies and just have this time to talk and just fuel my soul up, I think this is needed. Like rather than at times, it's okay to just have fun without thinking much about perfectionist. At times, it's okay to just let go and just have fun to just talk on the camera like this. At times, it's okay about if you've done your makeup or not. Like at times, it's okay if you've gained so much weight and feel so fat like me right now. But it's okay, you know? It's not like the end of the world. And as long as I'm able to capture myself as who I am, where I'm at, with the consciousness in my brain, I think that's it.
I have been pushing you away. I have been very distancing myself from you. Uh, there's a lot of factors and I will not spill them out here because it's very personal. But for the last few years and months, it's been great. I don't want to focus too much on the future, nor do I want to dwell too much in the past, but I want to be just where I am right now in my present moment. And so I only have a year and a half left until I finish this course and not gonna lie, I'm doing super amazing. And so watch me. Half? Yeah, I can't believe so. It's already been a year and a half slash two years since I've walked in this world of data analytics and corporate side of the world and yeah i have another year and a half to go it's only been half but it's already been half and yeah i'm taking my internship and greatly enough um i am having a gig in july and yeah by the end of the year hopefully i can actually get a paid internship job that actually has a title of a data analyst and i think i'm working my way up like from the bottom bottom ass down like it's not my first time starting from the bottom you know and it's actually it's actually not my first time starting from the bottom but i feel like i'm it's my first time but i think that's what makes it so enjoyable more memorable because 완전히 다른 세계에서 it's not like I've known something or known what data was like or analytics is like but 완전히 정말 정말 like this is actually starting from scratch like starting from nothing starting from not even having any interests and so I guess it is my first time starting from the scratch and actually starting from the bottom but it's gonna be cool and I know that it's gonna be amazing and when I reach that finish line and when I receive and conquer that PR it's gonna feel so good but I know I shouldn't just put my goal and like my end goal is not just for the PR but it I know that that's just gonna be the beginning for me I don't know I wanted to cut my hair but we'll see